New World Devised by Maurice Strong and George Soros. This comes from the Canada Free Press. And the United Nations has carefully managed one world order. Here's just pieces of this article. Have you ever wondered how capitalism was pushed over the edge of a cliff just six weeks before the American presidential election? According to financial experts, the world as we know it will change dramatically by the year 2012. People who provided for their families only three years ago will be desperately searching for food. The story of the economic meltdown of 2008 begins and ends with the United Nations and its carefully managed one world order. Behind the curtain of this dark chapter in human misery are Maurice Strong and George Soros. It is both power lust and all-consuming hatred of the United States of America that elevated this deadly duo, du uh, duo to ogre status. Uh, fortunately for all those searching answers, much of their plan for the world past November 4, 2008 is already mapped out in writing. Leading economic experts and Strong agree that in 2012 people are going to be hungry. Strong has worked diligently and effectively to bring his ideas to fruition. He is now in a position to implement them, says Henry Lamb. His speeches and writings provide a clear picture of what to expect. In 1991, Strong wrote the introduction to a book by the Trilateral Commission. And who's, I mean, who's geez, writing the article? Canada Free Press. Mm -hmm. They say uh, David Rockefeller wrote the, wrote the foreword in this book. The meshing of the world's economy and the Earth's ecology, and here's what he wrote. This is this is um, Maurice Strong. Strong. Here it is. Quote: This interlocking, this new reality of the century, with profound implications for the shape of our institutions of governance, national and international. By the year 2012, these changes must fully be integrated into our economic and political life. They're talking about. Um, they're talking about the the global governance that we are now doing. Developed and benefited from the unsustainable patterns of production and consumption. Listen to this carefully. Developed the problem has been developed and benefited from the unsustainable patterns of production and consumption which have produced our present dilemma. It is clear. Listen carefully that current lifestyles and consumption patterns of the affluent middle class the affluent middle class we're talking globally here that's everyone when you're speaking globally that's everyone in the united states of america the affluent middle class involving high meat intake consumption of large amounts of frozen and convenience foods use of fossil fuels appliances, home and work air conditioning, and suburban housing are not sustainable. A shift is necessary towards lifestyles less geared to environmentally damaging consumption patterns.